Hey guys, we are here in our grammar museum. We would like to welcome you to our exhibition about punctuation. You are probably familiar with all kinds of punctuation, for example, the comma. Let's explore the different samples in our comma gallery. Check out our first sentence. My 10 billion dollar estate is to be split among my wife, daughter, son and nephew. So this is the right answer, but why? You use commas to separate words and word groups with a series of three or more. In our example here, there is a group of four separated by a comma. If you ask yourself why there is a comma before the conjunction end, there is a simple answer. We want to divide the 10 billions fairly between the four people. Without the comma, the son and nephew would have to split one third of the estate. It was a beautiful hot summer. We stayed at an expensive summer resort. The correct answer is to put the comma between beautiful and hot. Because you use a comma to separate two adjectives if you are able to insert and. So here you can also say it was a beautiful and hot summer. Franklin is a friendly young boy. He gets excited playing in the brightly shining sun. Use a comma when a ly adjective is used with other adjectives. If you are unsure whether an ly word is an adjective or not, try if it can be used alone with a noun. If it can, use the comma. In our second example, brightly isn't an adjective, so no comma. Will you, Aisha, do that assignment for me? Yes, doctor, I will. Use commas before or surrounding the name or title of a person directly addressed. Important note, if you address someone directly, you capitalize the title. In this example, doctor. Kathleen met her husband on December the 5th, 2003 in Mill Valley, California. They met in December 2003 in Mill Valley. Like the rule says, you separate the day of the month from the year. You also place a comma after the year 2003. Due to the fact that in the second example a part of the date is omitted, you leave out the comma. I lived in Los Angeles, California for 20 years. I lived in Los Angeles, CA for 20 years. In the first sentence, you separate the city from the state with a comma. But attention! If the state is written down in a two-letter capitalized form, you don't use a comma, like in the second example. I went to Harvard for my PhD in English. Thomas Bixler, DDE, MBA, will speak at tonight's meeting. Use commas to surround degrees or titles used with names that are not part of the grammatical sentence. I am, as you have probably noticed, very nervous about this. If an expression interrupts a sentence flow, you use a comma. If you are not sure about this, let me know. Let me know if you are not sure about this. When you start with a weak clause, you use a comma. If the sentence is a strong one like, let me know, don't use a comma. You nearly did it! On February 14, many couples give each other candy or flowers. To register for a dating service, you often have to be over 18 years old. Use a comma after phrases of more than three words that begin a sentence. But if there are less than three words, the comma is optional, like in our first example. Thank you very much for attending our exhibition. We hope you enjoyed it and see you soon. Bye!